Toast. I'm currently stuffing my face with brownie batter blizzard thing. It's very chocolatey. I do love salmon. Oh, it's so chocolatey. I think I'm going to die. I wonder how well it would freeze. I don't think it would freeze well at all. I don't know. It's so much. All right. I'm going to die of ice cream. So we go to just chatting. Now oh, this will do. I already finished half of it. It's enormous. I mean, it's not. But... I, I've started an unofficial workshop on the Project Zomboid server. I pulled some, like, pulled some shitty cars into a yard to pull them apart. So I could level up. This is stuff that I needed to be able to hotwire cars. And then I started building little 
little piles of like windshields and batteries and seats. So I can finally hotwire now. It was a very quiet stream last night. But I was kind of quite absorbed in what I was doing, so I that's probably why. Oh. Here is my mixer. So Coda's running late as well. Everyone's just running late. Is this really loud? No, it's okay. Hmm. Why is that there? Oh, okay. I guess we'll do some tractor reserves. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. What is it? Oh, right. I have a dinosaur truck. I'm gonna go put the rest of my ice cream in the freezer because I don't think I can finish it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's very rich. need a massive serving of lactose infused ice cream at the start of stream anyway. I'm really not sure about these. I could definitely do with an infusion of croissants though. I don't know if I like this. Okay. Well, that was a nice treat anyway. All right. Um, drive, I guess. I don't know how to play this game. All right, that away. Let's put that there. Coffee over there. Get the AC blowing on me. Water. Water out of this bottle does not taste as good as water out of my other bottle, and I don't know why that would be. That's pretty weird. Okay, so my truck is damaged and needs repairs. 
What are you? What are you doing? You know what? Let's put over here. I do this. Don't know how I feel about that. All right, options, audio. Enable voice. Oh, that's right. The, um, I can't handle. <laughs> One of the English voice actors for this, I think it's this raspy one, is, um, voiced by the same person who did Geralt and The Witcher. Pedal to the metal man. <laughs> yeah, no. Open window. Noise for flying. Reverb. Let's turn the reverb off. It was like a, an audio ducking. Oh, um, I mean Henry Cavill? Who played the played the Witcher? Yeah, he's a total nerd. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. He he games and he builds computers and he's a complete goober. Apparently, he's going to be a dad too, and he has a cute dog. And them road events, detours. What is this time to oh Yeah, I watched a a thing of of him, like he recorded building his PC and it was just like everyone has these same issues. Um Sense the presence. Perfect. Hello. Hello. What's going on? It's my audio right now. Huh? Hey. You got a bit of a frog in your throat. Something's weird with my audio. I don't like it. Oh, okay. Well, you figure that out then. I can hear myself more than normal. I don't like it. You can hear yourself? Yeah. Through stream? No. Okay. Through my monitor. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't even handle hearing myself. I hate it. <laughs> it's... It's, good. it's too weird. We're gonna deal with it. Okay, I, I'm in a rush. You wanna do your thing? Do your thing. I don't know how to fix it. All right. I had to put the rest of my ice cream in the freezer. It was too much for me. Oh, 
I can turn off pedestrians. Okay. There's no zoomy two poops. Hmm? There's no zoomy two poops today. I said, I. What do you mean? There's no zoomy two poops. It ain't there. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no session. Oh, I no, I haven't opened it yet. Well, what have you been doing for the last 20 minutes? Eating ice cream. Which is a very important thing to do. I was turning some settings down to uh, see if that would help with that weird shit. I don't think it will. Like just before like stream, Flynn's like, uh, do you need ice cream? I'm like, always. Hi, Abe. <clears throat> Um, apparently he had a hankering for Dairy Queen and I have discovered somebody ate yeah but it wasn't me he's saying somebody ate his cookies he ate his own cookies and then used it as a reason for needing to get ice cream so I got a brownie better one and I didn't get a lot I got like a medium and it was so good but Jesus it was rich I couldn't finish it there is Zoomy two boops now. We'll see about that. I did. It shows on my screen right above me. I just fired up Euro Trucks because I figured you want to torture me again. What's going on? Let's see here. I don't know. Hey, we're in Spain. Yeah, such a shame there's no boom lifts though in uh, Euro trucks. So sad. So sad. You can't even search by cargo. Can you not? Look like it. You can on the left side. Wait, no, I thought you could. You can filter it on the left side. So you can make it show articulated trailers if you so desire. Oh, camper vans. That's different. I could have sworn you could search by cargo. Yeah, you can. You just start typing the cargo name. Well, there's no boom lifts. But no, this game? because we're in Europe now. You can't have boom lifts and Spain. Do they not have boom lifts in Europe? I don't know, they probably call them something different. Dear SCS. What even is a boom lift? Except for a thing that lifts booms. I don't have a better explanation than that. <laughs> I am going to Helsingborg. Okay. I will see you there. Hi, Luna. Um, quick travel. Helsingborg is, I think. Where, where is that? Oh, right there. Uh, Oh, apparently my truck is too jacked up to travel. 
surprising literally no one. That's a shocker. Shocking. Oh yeah, it is kind of banged up. Ah, uh, Karuna. Oh, that's like... That's better. Okay, we'll try this again. Oh. Well, that's dumb. If they just let me teleport it, I could have fixed immediately. I am gonna but need you gas. Know what happens when you teleport, so... That's true. It could be like Star Trek. Yeah. I've I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately. Oh, this feels really loud to me. I had my game audio channel like way out. Because I was playing Project Zomboid don't need it so loud in this game. Oh. Oh, my nose is super itchy. So how's your week been? Like good busy? <laughs> Scooters. It was busy. I, I, I had to take a nap. Oh. Oh, good. Glad you're able to do that. Diesel? I don't think I don't need all my ice cream or I would have had that problem taken care of. Alright, on the road again. Seven hours to go. Oh, Seven good. Hours, six hours or so through Spain and. Oh, this isn't going to end so well. Lisbon and. No, we're not in Spain. Never mind. We are. Up north. Oh, this is this the back trailer on this has steering. It's not like one of them terrible ones. Maybe. Am I getting off here? Plenty of fuel to finish this job. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, I do. I have enough for another 700 kilometers. Humid. It's actually, while well, everyone else has been sweating their respective bits off, it was a little cooler here, like under 90. But this is the week that I start getting repetitive. Oh no, I lied, the heat index is over 100 now. I believe it. It's been raining. 
But no, this week the uh, afternoon storms have started. Well, or they will be starting according to the forecast. It's been really fucking dry the last couple of weeks. The yeah, the grass is crispy. Mm, and there's um, like watering restrictions in the county. But I'm pretty sure this evening or tomorrow it's going to get sorted out with a whole lot of flooding and storms. Sounds like a good time. Yes. If you're into that sort of thing. I mean, I am, as long as there's no hurricane with it. I'm looking. Oh, transport. What's happening here? Scooters. Benlin? Scooters. Scooters. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going out and uh, sitting in the pool in the rain. That'll be nice. I thought you got rid of your pool. Oh, we got a replacement. Uh. One that's actually. A reliable, known brand type one. Um, and it's been good, actually. It's been nice. I've actually got managed to get a little bit of sun. Um, wow. I have a tan line, which I haven't had in like a decade. Not that you can tell. Um, but it's been nice, like on Monday. We had a, a massive plumbing issue. Um, Is that your way of saying when it clogged up the toilet? <laughs> no. No. Well, maybe. But I don't think so. <laughs> no, the kitchen drain just completely stopped uh, draining. So I took out the U-band. That was clear. So I replaced the, or took out the valve at the top, the air valve. And the water was just like sitting in the pipe and not draining at all. So we had to get out the snake and open the hatch and the snake went down like 13 feet and it still wasn't clearing the block. So it could have been a poo, a big old poo in the sewage pipe because it's 13 feet under and we're definitely into the, the outlet from the house into the sewage system. But it was like a hundred something degrees in the kitchen and I'm under the kitchen counter like drenched in gross kitchen water and I don't know what it was gross and I put some like drain cleaner down there and of course that hadn't drained so I had to be really careful about making it not splash in my eyes and eventually Flint got the garden hose and we shoved the garden hose down the pipe and then I like held it, held it in place with a towel over the the pipe entry, and Flint was just like blast the hose on and then off again to try and like create some pressure, and that worked. Thank God. Um, and cleared it up. But I was so thankful for the pool after that because I was just like so fucking sweaty and exhausted. So I just jump straight in the pool and I was just like oh god yes <laughs> right, I'm looking forward to that after doing the lawn I think it was quite an adventure. It, it, it was a lot it was literally I was just trying to like wash the dishes and I just turned into this like an hour long saga of trying to unclog the drain So that was just so much fun. Like, more fun than you could shake a stick at. I 
stick and shake a stick at a lot of fun. It was it was more fun than that. But um, it was it was it was rough on the old joint, like kneeling and stretching to reach the cupboard. But... Have you tried not getting old? <laughs> I mean, I no, I guess not. I'd give I'd start there. I don't know if it's age, really. I mean, a part of it is absolutely age. But, like, my hip problem I had when I was in my 20s... It's just got worse as I've got older. But I did have it when I was in my 20s. Okay. Monday, I've got to replace a bunch of parts on the mower, which I'm not looking forward to, but it needs to be done. I've been putting it off for too long, and now that the rain started, I'm going to have to be able to mow the morning. AC blowing right on me. Sky is so pretty. Ooh, I still have some plastic film on this wheel. Like the protective stuff that you can like peel off really slowly. Still have that over the center part of this wheel. I started playing Project Zomboid yesterday again. I how much fun I, that was. Did you win? I mean, I didn't die. No? That time. So I guess? like when you don't have to pick your destination there.
Oh, that was a nice easy win. Alright, we're going to Via Deloid. Okay. Oh, it's a heavy job. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. Have it all the way up there, and then just come all the way back. I don't. It's got to go where the work is. Uh huh. A station here. Oh, there it is. Anyway, oh god. I didn't realize you'd stop right there. I'm sorry. I was like, we already just arrived. Can I help you? <laughs> Look at all the roundabouts already. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to crash into you. It, it, there's no visible. You can't see. It's fine. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to the gas station then. Oh god. It's a bit bumpy. Can I just go over here? Oh. Just jump in the curbs, huh? Yeah. This is fine. This is totally gonna work to get gas on the... Okay, apparently it is. Pretty sure that shouldn't work. is just as all coming back in as it was leaving. Hi, Ravi! Alright, where am I going? Oh, you're right there. You find me. Good luck. Okay. Hello, wow, Echo. I mean, I'm right behind you. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle <laughs> club? Hello. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, you're being bussy. There's a dumpster right there. That's fine. Probably best not to crash into that. Look, you're not my dares. If I want to crash into it. I was merely giving advice. Oh, 
good idea. Washing machine and dryer drums are fantastic as planters. Also as um, fire pits. Washing machine ones are fantastic as fire pits because of all the holes. But, so you get like good airflow in them. Friend of mine, my boyfriend did that. I buy old washing machines and take out the guts and basically just convert them into fire pits and sell them. Is it a heavy boy? It doesn't really feel ooh, that much different to other cargo. You had to have a big truck for it, so I don't know. Oh god, these is... More, more settled into your new place, Echo. Everyone's been moving. They don't want you to know where they live. That's fair. Even Buckmer moved. I told Buckmer I was coming to Ohio and he moved. Um, You could pop them on like Craigslist and just see if anyone wants them for parts. There's a lot of like mom and pop repair places that might be able to repurpose them. Perhaps? so much. Mm. No, we've got a guy who does TV repairs who lives down the road and he basically he'll collect any TVs that he sees on the side of the street and he, he strips them for parts for like for the circuit boards so he can take off like capacitors and stuff and recycle them. Otherwise, there's probably an e-waste place. Yeah. So I don't necessarily know if I want, like, if I hired him to fix my TV, I think I'd be pretty mad if it was fixed with, like, second-hand parts. Unless it was a discount and it was made clear, but... Water is good. I've been so wickedly dehydrated this entire week. <clears throat> and the reason I know that is because I've only had to refill my bottle twice this week. And it's like a 32 ounce bottle.
Ooh, it's starting to rain. Thank you, Carter. Very kind. Hydrate, stretch. I did. I did. I mean, I was drinking like when I was elsewhere, but normally I have to refill my water bottle a lot. Got distracted here. On a Wednesday, I realized that I'd had a headache for three days, so it was probably because I was dehydrated. There's lightning ahead. I saw lightning, but there's no like rain clouds. It's just like normal clouds. There's more lightning. It's exciting. It's like Florida. But yeah, we got a proper, we got an antique pool, which is like one with like a metal frame. Like a canvas liner that goes in a metal frame. So it's a bit more sturdy. And it's deep enough. It's, it's about, I don't know, between 24 and 30 inches deep, maybe. Okay. So it's deep enough that you can't, well, you, you can walk on, do the, that weird, like, walk on your hands thing that you, you do at the beach when you don't want to get out of the water. Um, but it's deep, deep enough and it's 10 feet wide, so it can sort of just, like, float comfortably without touching anything. And it's nice. I, like, float on my back and have the water come up over my ears and then it like blocks my hearing and if I close my eyes I can't hear anything and I can't see anything and I can't feel anything except for the pressure of the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good for my, it, it feels a lot like really good on my back and my hips, but I've also found that there's some stretches that I can do in the pool that I can't do otherwise that are good for sort of making my keeping my hips mobile as well so just that extra buoyancy of the water means that I can yeah I hadn't even thought about that I was just moving and I'm like wait this is a stretch I'm supposed to be doing for like the hip flexors and I can't do it outside of the pool So I'll go sit out there with my audiobook and just sort of potter around and float. But it's my favorite is just like floating on my back and just like getting myself so I'm floating right in the middle of the pool so I'm not touching anything and just like the absolute bliss when all I can feel is like the heat on my face and the water on my skin and that's it. It's no noise nothing and it's amazing like I need a sensory deprivation chamber On Monday, it, the water was, I don't know, I don't have a thermometer in there. Um, but I, it was warm enough that I was like, I need to see about getting like a little fountain or something just to circulate the water to try and cool it down. Cause it was like the, the first few inches of water in that pool were just too warm. We got this neat vacuum 
for it. It's it's not powered by electricity. It's powered by flow of water. So it's like it's you you plug your hose into it and it spins bristles and then there's like a little mesh bag above it which catches all the leaves and debris and stuff. Yeah. So got one of them. And we had to get a mosquito dunk, a box pack of mosquito dunks, because apparently in the, the first week of getting the pool up, the local mosquito population thought that would be a great place to have babies. So it was like full of mosquito larvae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look really interesting, but I did not want them to hatch. So we had to do like an emergency trip down to Walmart to buy a bunch of... They're like these little donuts made out of like dried up corn chunks and it's basically loaded with bacteria that kills mosquito larvae but that's it i was like i don't want to be responsible for filling up the neighborhood with dengue fever so we're uh, we've got on top of that Fifty degrees and cloudy. Fifty degrees and cloudy sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm seeing lightning, but there's not like big rain clouds. Oh my god, that picture that Prickly posted is too fucking cute. I can't tell if it's Jonesy or Vandy. Just remember, you got a skylight. I have a skylight. I don't have a skylight. Uh, where are we? Uh, just yep. entering Portugal. We're headed towards... We're headed to see the Lisbonians. We're off to see Molly and Drax. Be careful though, because Molly's out today. I don't want to run. I don't want to run her over. Yeah, I'm just gonna park outside and be like, "Hi, hello." Oh, it is. They've done an amazing job with the weather. to probably come outside and fuss at me for interrupting sports ball. He's watching the sports ball today. The sky is clear. I'm sure, it's not Octavius farting. No, I don't think so. And this truck does so well with heavy cargo. Like, I can't even tell. It's just like. Blasted along happily. Also, I had to laugh, Echo, the first time 
like when I got on the pool the other day and I like submerged up you know on my back and submerged with my ears covered and it went quiet <laughs> and my relief and then I just laughed about your your observations on autism coding I was like, oh my god, there's so much less everything. And I was like, oh. So, like, Ego, get out of my head. Portugal's got it got it right here. Roads are nice, everything's automated. Lack of roundabouts though. <laughs> Distinct lack of roundabouts. Zero out of ten would not visit again. It's still thundering on my game. I don't know what's going on. Well, I can see rain clouds on your game, finally. But it's been thundering ever since it stopped raining. I don't know. Well, stop that. Easy. It's not, it's not done unless you kick it. Actually, I don't even know what I need now. For my old dryer, I had like a quarter inch socket and a Phillips screwdriver and that was pretty much all I needed to do anything. And like a flathead to help sort of dislodge the plugs. Um, and so I basically just had them on the shelf because I was having to repair parts on the old dryer so often the thermocouple kept on tripping so I was constantly having to change things out for the new dryer that we have which is second hand second hand a new second hand washing machine and dryer I have no idea what parts I need I should probably look at it before I get stuck in case it's got a stupid star drive or something I doubt it Hey, that's how I used to- I got the old washing machine going most of the time before they replaced it. Checking in from the day long Hacky, thank you! Uh, thank you for the lurks. Appreciate it. Okay, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. Um. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh God, brakes, Jesus Christ. I was like, which one's the brake pedal again? Yeah. I, I completely forgot how to brake. Yeah, anyway, there's ads right now. Hi, hello. Taki, thank you for supporting me for 51 months. At tier two, no less. Appreciate it, thank you. Uh, here's our good old round. 
roundabout. I need to find out. You are being helpful, absolutely. I was saying, I need to find out if there's a, a notification for resubs on fourth wall that people can do. Home and showered. Showered is good. Um, but yeah, like I noticed that it looks like there's a, a few people um, have, have re renewed on fourth wall, but I don't get a notification about it. And I would like to do that. I like having a shower, but I don't like having to have a shower. That makes sense. Like, oh fuck, I've got to go take a shower. It's such an effort. But once I'm in there, I like it. Uh. Yes. Uh huh. A hundred percent. Do I, I seriously keep on going through the ones where I actually have to stop? So. Every day. Every heckin' day. Excellent. Okay. Alright, time to... Where's your hand brace almost over? But time to get up and okay. see if that stretch. Do that when I hand the job in. Yeah, fourth wall doesn't seem to send notifications on renewals, so I need to figure out if I'm missing something. Because I feel like they would help, especially because of, of the impact that fourth wall has. Welcome back. What is going on here? My music stopped as well. Yeah, we're just talking about the, uh, where I'm just like, oh, I have to have a shower and I hate it and I put it off and I hate it. And then as soon as I'm actually in the shower, I feel better. You know, that's how things go. I'm gonna stand up and do a stretch. Oh. Definitely after. Absolutely after. Oh. 
I don't know. I don't know what your sense of smell is like, but if it's anything... Um... Anything like mine, like, I can tell... I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I have to have a shower when I get home from my body because I can smell everyone's colognes and perfumes and shit. A croning party? I don't know what that is. Oh, I wonder here. Oh, fuck yes. Okay, got it. I have to ask about. Yeah, I can't see any triggers. You know what's weird about menopause? It's like you've got this whole like hairy menopause bullshit. So all the crap up until when you've not had a period for a year. And then that's menopause. And basically from that moment on, it's post-menopausal. So you, the, the actual state of menopause is like, like a day. So absolutely 100% worth celebrating. dinosaurs on my truck. I'm going to nine and shim. Bless you. I'm sure it'll buff out or wash off. Ethan Holm, yes, very much. I'm stopping right here. Just to let you know, so you don't drive into me. Like that's going to stop again. me. Take the cop car behind you. Woo! Jesus Christ. People in this area drive like maniacs. They drive like the bell. Why are you making me go in circles? What are you doing, you muppets? You literally maybe drive in a circle. That's more of a square, but... So the traffic's like, oh, there's a truck coming the other way on this road? Don't fucking care. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it head on. What's it to ya?
All right, we are in some country, going someplace, delivering something. Cool. Oh my god, everything is trying to kill me. It's fine. Going off the gasoline, the petrol. Probably good. Here we go. I mean, just it's splitting his really at that point. Am I trying to kill them? Are they trying to kill me? Either way, someone's getting killed. Oh, hang on a second. Is that you with two trailers? And that that's me with one trailer. Such a hacker. I don't I don't know how that keeps happening. What a cheater. I don't I have no idea how that keeps happening. I was like, wow, this is a short trailer. Alright. I guess he knows what he's doing. No, That's I don't right. like I don't like pumpkin. Well, stop cheating and you and when No. I didn't even know I was cheating. Just happen that way. Oh, that's gonna make me cheat more. Can <laughs> just shove pumpkin in his face and be like, eat it. Oh, ow. No, not ow. Okay, we're good. Go on here. Oh, my lord. That's terrible. Wow, that is narrow. That would have sucked in a double trailer. De-sugared yourself too much? Surely not. I'm sure you're still sweet turkey. What a pumpkin eater. Uh-uh. Your face is a pumpkin eater. Two toes. Well, have you got some fruit or some juice or something? Don't you go going into hypoglycemic shock because you don't have enough sugar? Don't you let Dell tell you what to do. Unless you want to use the shaking as like jazz hands. I went into Joanne's the other day and they had Halloween stuff out. In June. And I could understand it from a crafting perspective, like it takes a long time to make things. So craft supplies, I totally get, but these were like full Halloween decorations. As like, I was like, I do not remember they've been up in June last year. Like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. 
Like, this wasn't craft supplies. These were full of, like, skulls and shit. Oh, yeah, my music has definitely stopped. I mean, probably. I see, like, I understand in a craft store if it's supplies for, you know, making decorations and wreaths and shit. It makes total sense. But I was looking, I was looking at the, um, I was looking to see if they had any deals on any DK or, or fingering weight yarn or something. As a travel project. Why is my dip locked? Because you locked it. No, but it wasn't. Here. It's bizarre. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just like old, old lady yells, you know, shakes fist at clouds, or if it actually is that much earlier. Or maybe I just haven't been into a store in June in a couple of years, so I don't know. Yeah, but maybe every year they put out Halloween in June. And then they put it away until like August. It, September. You never know. Yeah, it just seems like, really? Weird. <sighs> I mean, I I don't do it at all. <laughs> the my my token gestures for these holidays are whatever things I do for stream. Um. Oh, you mean to Joanne's? This is like the first time I've been in Joanne's in, I don't know, maybe this year. The last time I did an order, I ordered online. But we've got Joanne's and Michael's in the same mall, and Michael's has basically just turned into Hobby Lobby. It's, it, our Michael's is absolutely shit. The yarn section is like two small shelves at the back and the rest of it is like obsessive framing supplies and then just a bunch of like, it's just crap. But our Joanne's is pretty good. Well see the thing is, Taki, you've seen how I drive in trucks, right? But yeah, I was just, I was checking out to see what, if they had any deals, because mm. Ravi gave me, uh, or found a cute pattern, um, for like a swimsuit cover up. And I was going to make that as like a travel project because it's like lightweight and repetitive, but then I realized that, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do that. But I was going to get a Mandela, and then I realized the Mandela yarn wouldn't really work for it. Or maybe it would. I don't know. Oop. <clears throat> uh, I 
Maybe I'll just get a solid color. It's basically just a really loose weave caddy. And a lightweight, yeah. Okay, which one am I going to? Antali or Paldiski? Yes, one of those two. Which uh, we're one? Going to Finland or something. So. Finland? Okay, I'm going to take a guess okay. and say it's Nuntali then. It's like it. You'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, our wall is like I said, we've got Joanne's and Michael's on the same wall, and then there's a Dollar Tree and Five Below as well. So it's like all it needs is an Ollie's, and I'd be happy. It sure is nice just having a single trailer. Uh, Ollie's, it's like a surplus closeout store. I think they're only in the southeast. Yeah. Yeah, like a Ross type place, but it's usually just like, you know, it'll be like car stuff and gardening tools and coffee and shampoo and yeah. And it's worth going in every now and then. Occasionally you can find good stuff. When I was dyeing my hair, I used to buy it on there because it'd be like three dollars a box as opposed to like seven or eight for the same stuff in stores. Oh, I guess we're bonus laning. I mean, that worked pretty well. Five minutes late. It surprises me. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good merge, considering that was actually not a merge lane. <laughs> no, it was fine. Um, I see that emote in a lot of channels, and I was like, really? That gets used in other contexts I never would have expected. count if you've killed all the witnesses. Which reminds me, I added some more quote tees to the store. But on the new... <laughs> I, I knew that was going to get picked up. Uh, but on the new... Um, softer fabric, the Bellow Canvas t-shirt fabric. I knew it! I'm sure that'll be totally fine. 
we um, we cleared out. I cleared out the pantry the other day. It hasn't been done in a while. It hasn't been done in so long. We had a grocery. How long is it? So there was a grocery store that left Florida in 2012 called Food Lion. Um, I found some Food Lion brand products in the pantry. So, yeah. Because the problem was, we keep on like, do we need like, barbecue sauce or whatever, and then be like, no, there's plenty in the cupboard, and we get home and it's like, oh, we can't use that. <laughs> and, and then we forget about it, rinse and repeat. So, on Sunday night, I think it was Sunday, I went through, um, Oh, thank you, Echo. Um, Ick. Well, that's okay. I appreciate the thought. It's a cow. This is what happens. This is what I was doing the other day when I was like too tired to brain. So it's kind of like it's yelling for emphasis. Okay, I have unpublished that for now. I found your list. I went back through our chat history and, and found the list of, of ones that you suggested. So yes, I, we, I, I did a big throw toss out. I filled like four trash bags of uh, no, you're helpful. Four trash bags of, like, expired condiments, basically. What the f- Drunk elephant serum? What the fuck is that? Uh, people- Yeah, you're right about cults. Most people use- more face care beauty shit than they need to. Oh. I mean, my skin's really fucking good. And I use face wash every other day, and that's it. And occasionally moisturize. <laughs> But I don't wear makeup, and I'm sure that's half of the uh, the battle won. Yeah, but everyone's got different skin, you know, different health requirements with hormone levels and stuff. It definitely changes, but. The cake fiasco, oh, the cake fiasco, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The great cake fiasco of 2024. Yeah. Where were you? Uh oh. I, I do have a moisturizer, but it takes me like three years to get through a pot of it. <laughs> Maybe more. Did they take it back? Uh, 
I don't think I've been into Alter, so I don't know what they're like. I use um, Oil of Olay stuff. Oh, that's good, Tacky. I like the, um... I like this stuff because it smells, uh... It's got a nice orangey citrus smell, but it's not really strong. And it's light. I buy some trucks and garages and... Ugh. Hey, Drax! Um... We were in Lis- we, we went to Lisbon, but you weren't home. I like- well, I think what happened was I tutored outside your apartment building, but you were too busy watching sports ball, so you didn't hear. Yeah. They may have also been the screamer pedestrians, but you know, I bet. It's funny, my grandma used this stuff, but it was called, in New Zealand it had a different name, but it was the same product. And after trying a bunch of, whoop, bunch of different stuff, that's what I always go back to. <laughs> we might have heard the bonus lane. Echoes shriek your fear. As they bury their their face in their hands to avoid watching the results of my driving. Actually, I think we delivered to the outskirts of Port of uh, Lisbon, right? The outskirts. And I'm really irritated that I've got a typo in that shirt. At least it's an easy fix. How was sports ball? The special edition typo, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the way you, when you buried your face in your hands, or your hand, it, it was fine. It was after you took your hands away that I crashed. I think what we've learned here is you just always keep your hands in front of your face. Just don't watch. <clears throat> don't don't look at Dell's driving. Just keep your eyes closed. Yeah. There. Dude, you've got very brave. No, the letter describes the condition of you watching. the other me doing the stupid driving. You're brave for watching my stupid driving. <sighs> Very pretty here. If I still have the taste. Oh. Ouch. So 
motivational. Are you gonna? Oh, right there. I know. All right, not that one. I was like, oh gosh. The heck is that? This is our dance. Okay. No, I'll have to redo that one, but that's okay. I have unpublished that one. Oh, that's expensive. Why can't I buy cheaper? I think. Yeah, we're gonna go to a different store. What is with the traffic here? That car is stuck. This one. He's probably waiting for the guy on the train tracks. Train signals working. Oh, there we go. Now it's red. is reversing into the yellow car. And then two the the two to get each other. What the heck? It's broken. Well go give him a friendly little nudge. Yeah, you know what? I should. It's my civic duty. Your truck have my name on it. What is what? If your truck had my name on it. All right, come on, guys, let's go. I don't think I helped it. I wonder if there's like barrier though, no, that's fine. <laughs> Weird. Let me help you this way. Uh oh. Um. Uh, 
<laughs> the train has stopped now. What did you do? <clears throat> Well, the signals have come down and now I'm on the the train tracks. I can't get out because you're blocking all the traffic. I mean, I was able to get out. Don't be such a baby. Look, I, I even bent the sign over. The train isn't. The train has stopped. I mean, honestly, I can probably just drive forward. Yeah, I am. Out of curiosity, I'm just curious. Okay, so the train stop if you're on the tracks. Train driver is like, what the actual fuck is going on? This yellow car just keeps going forward and backwards. Yeah, I, I th did. no, I think the white car is stuck. But there's something funky going on there. But the white car will not drive forward. Oh, oh, there we go. Freedom! Drive forward. It wouldn't! As the white car drives forward. It wouldn't! people and the whole, you know, wanting to use the roads thing. Have I bought a garage in every country? I think so. Have you? What the fucking... What is it with the trains here? I definitely haven't. Isn't that a Steam achievement? Like, see now, what? What are you doing? Now this yellow car is stuck and it won't go forwards. Give him a little nudge. You need me to come over there again? Because uh, as soon as I showed up, everything just worked. No, I fixed it. But, I mean, for me. Oh, 
Yeah, really. has one out on the islands, the Italian islands out there. Mm. But I think I have one in every other country. Well, you've basically won then. Yep, guess we can't play this game anymore. All right, well, Aww. bye. game are you playing here? Roundabout Simulator 2024. It's like an interesting game. Oh, I see you. You're your trick too. I basically beat this game, so I don't yeah. Know. next on the list here uh the world map world map world map how do i freight market that's what we want all right all right all right that's that's quite a quite a job why, why can't why is there not so many jobs down here one more jobs down here. That's too much. All right, good enough. I am going to Bruce. 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 That? That's a good question. It is somewhere in here. Uh, closest is probably either Bucharest or Pleven. Well, guess we'll pick one and find out. <sighs> what do you mean my truck's not in good enough condition to travel? It's not like Can I've done stop anything. Crashing into crap? No. It's my thing. It wouldn't be a Dell driving stream if I didn't crash. It's my brand, exactly. Thank you, Echo. That your brand was bees, not. Oh my god, why everybody watch out? I mean, most people do the same thing when they see a whole lot of bees. I suppose. Hi, puppy dog. What's going on? You come over to see me? Yeah, you come see me? Hi. Yeah, what's going on, puppy dog? Are you doing? Yeah. Are you doing? That's a good point.
Oh god. Oh god. It's fine. I forget how much power this truck has. <laughs> Ugh. Sweet sleepy little town at one o'clock on a Monday morning. Everybody get up. Coming through. Oh, I need some diesel. Already? I mean already. I haven't got any since we started. Oh, um, I thought you'd stopped before. GPS didn't send me that way, which tells me it's the wrong way. Nah. -uh. This bit may have been the wrong way, but the rest was fine. Thank you. Perfect. Wow, this really is a sleepy little town, huh? I mean, it. What well, was? Like midnight. Yeah. Could be a bustling metropolis for all you know. Hmm. Could be. actual heck is this place? I 
have no idea where I'm going through here. I'm just guessing. You know, I believe in you. Checking my documents, whatever. Yeah, they weren't gonna let me through. Jerks. I still have no idea where I am. Oh, never mind. There's a big sign that says Bulgaria. <laughs> Guess we're in yeah. Bulgaria. That would, that would make sense. See what happens. Everything is fine. We have Ed starting in 30 seconds. Oh, that's on the other side. I think it's on the other side. I think it's on the other side. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go okay, back. Uh, my eyes are really not working. It totally looks like it's on the other side of the thing. See good. Enjoy your party. Bye. Oh yeah. We're in Spain, so very few. We're on an ad break. All right, ad break. Take break. Everyone, see you a little bit. Bye.
apparently we have a big old storm coming through shortly. We have a advisory for it. blow through pretty quickly though, about half an hour or so. Alrighty, here we go. Look at you in your truck. Yep. Dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah. I figured I might as well let everyone know I'm old by putting dinosaurs on my truck. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's a bonus round. Ugh. It's got really hot all of a sudden. Hey, what are you doing over there now? Watch out for that pole, it'll sneak up on you. Which one? Oh, you'll see. Hey. Family of four in that car, and they have apparently no fucks to give. I don't know if this job is still gonna be there by the time we get there. I don't know. That's a long way away that my, uh, my high beams. <sighs> well, the job should have thought about that before posting when it did before, when it knew that my air brake was coming up soon. This is all very sketchy. Like whatever it is that we're picking up at three o'clock in the morning, 
from a place where most of the outside lights are off. It can't be legal. That's a risky take in this job. Why am I following Coder into the woods? At this point, it's just habit. That's not the job I wanted. So we're gonna go with this one. So I don't think the original one that I thought, but we're doing it. A pretty. Oh, to a jagged. Oh, that's a long one. I got them from doing a Christmas event a couple of years ago, and I love them. Good. Oh, just get, make sure you get some Complex cabs going. Still need sugar for your body, to some degree. Wow, you've got a double again. talking about nothing nothing at all I didn't make you look <laughs> thank god you're gonna make me throw up <laughs> from the camera spinning It's just glass. It's not like it's breakable. Uh oh, there's something in the clips channel. Come on, puppy dog. You need to go outside and go poop? Huh? You eat your food, you gotta go outside and go poop? Now, if you just figured out how to use the toilet. Wait. Okay, do you mind? Oh, Ollie. <laughs> no? Yes, you gotta go Okay. Yes, you know. Okay. Onward. Do you poop or not to poop? That is the question. And whether nobler to hold it in or let it flow. Mm hmm. Tricky, tricky dilemma to have. talking about getting it on and off for the last two hours, so probably, yeah. Looking forward to Greece getting released. I think that's going to be amazing. 
I hope they take the chance a little more than they did with Italy to get some classical history stuff showing in the map. And yes, Greece is very important for trucks. Thank you, Ali. It's kind of crazy this game has been out for so long without Greece at all, actually. How has it even run so long without Greece? Yeah. I still can't decide what I want to do with my Odyssey playthrough. There's a, a pretty good chance that I'll end up with a key for the next one, which is set in feudal Japan. I think. Or that sign. What sign? That's the same other sign. But I, I don't know. I'm intrigued by an Assassin's Creed game set in Japan. Oh, excuse me. But. Oh, but it's supposed to be more like the older Assassin's Creed games. So, or stealth than fucking shit up. I'm pretty good at fucking shut up. <laughs> yeah. Not not so much the stealth thing. No. No. That's a cool train. Ten euros. Hi, fake. This is a really pretty border crossing with this bridge. Welcome to Romania. There's some thunder rumbling outside. Like IRL. Give a special weather statement. What's so special? Oh, gusty, possible hail. Hail, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just gonna thun rumble and thunder, but not actually drop any rain. Going by what the radar looks like. Look at that stop. And it's been a while since we've had a good had good thunder here. Like I said, are we gonna get back to me going, oh yes, it's the, the daily thunderstorm and Coda will be like, you say that every day. Yeah, for the years. Look, years, literally years now.
Yeah. Where are we going? I have no idea. I'm just following Carter. <laughs> I'm just following Del. No, you're not. You're ahead of me. That doesn't mean I'm not following you. I don't know. Carter picks up the job and I just follow him, so... We're in Romania? Let's go with that. I... Yeah, he's following from in front. Uh, we're going to Jagged. Again. Jagged. Um. So up, up, up there. Oh, kick. Wrong button. Uh. Oh, this is fine. I'll just go over here. Oh, 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 it's just glass. It'll be fine. That's a very cute emote. I like that one. Kick! I don't even see what it, oh never mind i don't even know what we're transporting after talking about glass like two seconds ago it's fine i'm clearly compass mentis and in fit state to drive which is different from normal in what way no yes it's glass panels was glass panels probably now less panel, more powder. Yeah. Really? Some of these cities in Eastern Europe are absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty roads and stuff. I did! <laughs> it is fake. Enjoy Euro trucks, but also American trucks, Em. Yeah, I shuffled around the books a bit. There should be a bunch more books to read. Um, and organized some of the stuff upstairs in, this, in the crates. A little. And the black car across the road uh, should have like half a tank of gas in it and a gas can in the trunk. What are you talking about? Project Zomboid. Uh, uh, Ali and I were playing it yesterday on the stream server. And I was playing it before stream today. And if you want a faster car, there's a little black sports car next door. But you'll have to gas it up yourself. With a gas can and just siphon it. The next door neighbor's yard is turning into a workshop. <laughs> Where's the new house? Yeah, I moved everything over with the red truck. I think there might even be a pot of stew on the counter that should be okay still. Maybe. I don't know if time passes when I'm not logged when we're not logged in. Sweet. Good job. I'm now able to hotwire cars and I feel pretty fancy. Like in game. Yeah, it is. 
it is a flex your point like there's some people have like a ridiculous amount of points um there is a very small percentage chance that it will trigger an audio alert um but yeah it's it's a basically a point sink You should see how many points Buckma has dropped on that thing. It's ridiculous. He, he cannot help himself. Kind of bounced off that truck there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my, my trucks all have like pool, pool noodles on all the hard edges just so that we bounce off things. I have like one and a half million points in Flint's channel, but he won't let me redeem them for beans. He's like, if, if you do it, it would if you redeem the points you have to eat the nasty bean i'm like how does that make sense but yeah between that and then halloween and christmas time people will usually run out of points because of the wheel spins crap I just remembered I have coffee you just now remember you had coffee sounds like you need some coffee mm-hmm if you had coffee earlier you would have remembered that you had coffee but then True. maybe not because you would have been out of coffee so mm -hmm. you wouldn't have coffee to remember that you need coffee yeah you have coffee really a catch-22 I was like man I really feel like I feel like a drink, but I don't want water. I feel like something else. And then I looked and I was like, oh, here's my cup. Oh, yeah, I made coffee. Now do you need to go poop? I haven't had enough coffee to poop yet. Or are you talking to Octavius? Yes. <laughs> oh. Right. It's like, give, give it. Give it time. I need to process the coffee first. Wanna go outside go poop? Outside go poop. Well, not Lance, you. You gonna go join him? I mean, we've talked about poop breaks on stream before, so I never know. <laughs> Oh, there's too many ants in our yard. Just a little red light, it's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Allie.
It's totally fine. So what, what, um, what put you in, fake? <laughs> Ali is on fire with the clips today. place that I found coffee. <laughs> I'm so pleased that I have an insulated mug for my coffee so it's still hot. a good mug. I'm gonna ask Flint's mum to make me a new one with like fire colors. Yeah there's definitely been some shuffling going on. I can't remember how often, but there's like basically there's an event every X period that <clears throat> makes them migrate and move around the map. So there's no respawn, but they will move. Because I definitely found some um, um, up by the medical center. And there was also a big mess to the southwest, like at the end of our street, and then to the to the southwest, where we had a little discussion. I probably need to go and like tear all those clothes up as well. Yeah, it's huge. I don't even know what to do with that. I figure if we find generators it could be useful or like building materials. It was really hard to get out of the place that I found it and it was really hard to get in there. There's a truck coming on the other side of the road. You might want to put your foot down or I'll put my foot down I guess. Okay, you'll clear to pass me. Or not. Oh, this is so pretty. There's a smaller one around the corner too which I thought would be useful to put like auto tools in or something maybe I don't know what 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 mm -hmm. how'd the pooping go I didn't watch I don't know I just assume he did his thing there's a big old buck and a doe back there oh boy you didn't see him really I guess he was focused on the poop thing he was but focused on he doesn't really notice too much. That's good. There was a groundhog out there earlier and I he, I thought he saw it and started barking like he saw it and then sent him outside and he ran completely the other direction. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so. Oh, Daisy would just go bad shit with that star. Balls. That's what the sign says. That's 
probably pronounced Balsh or something. Balls. Balls. Don't pull out in front of me! Ugh. Too many lampposts. Uh, oh, keep on traffic on the other. Oh god, this is this is a bad idea. I'm sorry. There's going to be a car stopped on the road ahead of you. Take that under advisement. trailer smoking. It's pulling off so you could pass. Actually, I don't know if I would like the smell of that. It's quite strong. <laughs> That's... That is buck my tax. Somehow it was established last time I was playing Project Zomboid that if I do not collect all the flamingos that I see, then I don't know, something will happen. That is the buck my tax. I must collect the flamingos. I, th I thought he may have forgotten about it, but he mentioned it last night and I was like, well, I guess I gotta go get a flamingo now. Yeah, the, the black car across the road should be good if you want to like take go for an explore. It's in pretty good condition and it should have a good amount of gas in the tank, so. And it's hot wired, just so you don't need to worry about a key. Oh god! This is fine. <laughs> that's that's why that corner is like that. Yeah, I don't know why else uh, you put that there. Ooh, sushi. So Ali broke the Geneva Convention today. Congratulations. Um, the, the first won't be the last. Like the the thing about torture and cruel and unusual punishment. One word, Ali: strawberries. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ali messaged me and was like, "Pablo's has got strawberries for ninety nine cents a pound," and I was just like, "Yes." Because, you know, we all know how much I like strawberries. And then I, I checked our local grocery store and they were like two for five dollars. And I was like, no. It's so weird. The regional sales like that. Unless they just had surplus up your way. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure that that's like up there. And it's so silly. <laughs> I like 
if I'd gone back in and confirmed, Flint would absolutely have been like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Last time that happened, I ended up making like a bunch of strawberry jam. I made like, I froze a bunch. I made cakes. <laughs> I, I ate like a pound of them before I'd even put them away. And like the kitchen sink was just like full of strawberries. It was like mass production in my kitchen. It smelled so good for days. The whole house smelled like strawberry jam. I didn't know how to make strawberry jam. I just remember my Nana saying something about equal amounts, fruit and sugar. And I was like, that'll do. So I just kind of guesstimated and it worked. I just happened to have some mason jars. So I was able to store some. But... Oh my bill them broke. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, two for five isn't isn't bad, but I'd rather five for five. <laughs> I do have the app on my phone, so I get like the little uh, like sneak peek of the next ad. It's one of the few apps that I actually bother. Like I don't use any of the other ones, but I do use the Publix one. If only just to order the occasional sub or sad what sell it. This is really pretty here. You rescued more. You're such a good person. Yeah, I ate a lot today. I need to do a big... I'm trying to level up my carpentry so I can make some like more storage cupboards or something. I meant like five carpentry, I think. Only five? Yeah. What a new... Totally. Yeah, I remember when I started playing that game. It was like yesterday. Um... Well, the, the first levels I got by reading the book and then there's a wood crafting video that you can watch and that will give you like get you to like level two I think um but just by like going out with a hammer and disassembling shit I think I can make like some basic stuff now, like some basic shelving, but I want to be able to make the big stuff. Ooh, that rail yard's really neat. if there is a mod for it. It'd be cute if there was like a mod to put like 3M hooks on the wall and then you could hang like the little backpacks on the hooks. That would be really cute. Or well, maybe when you become a carpenter you can make hooks. Maybe. Possible. There's a lot of stuff in that game. Hmm. 
for like a coat stand that you could hang things on. This is a little town. Sunflowers. Why she don't look at them because we're driving. Eyes on the road. You could look at the sunflowers or through your sunroof. See, like this. Look at your. I I. If I'm seeing sunflowers through my sunroof, then I've had an accident. Yeah. I don't think there's any sunflowers up there. You don't know how much you look. Well, they might be. I'm just gonna leave them in suspense though. Jagged. 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 Class. 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 Oh, it's right. Class. Yeah, she looks like a trailer. I think it's Jagged. I can't remember how it's pronounced. I think it's sh like that, though. Jagged. Something like that. Not oh, coochie coochie something. desktop fan but one that won't blow on the mic that'd be tricky so if I get one of those ooh that's big thunder if I get one of them fuzzy filters for my mic then I probably could have a fan Good. fuzzy filter and a Whatever the thing that goes in front of it, too. Pop filter. Well, I've got a pop filter on there already. Mm. But yeah, it's like if I get one of them fuzzy ones. Because, like, last, the other day I turned up the fan on my AC and it was coming through on the mic. And ultimately, if it's really stinking hot, I'm, I'm going to have the louder fan. But if I can use one of those filters to dial it back with help. But yeah, I was trying to think, it's like if there's anywhere that I could get a... got a shelf above my desk that my lights are on, maybe I could attach a fan there and just angle it down. Oh, there's only one way to find it. I guess. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I could get a fan or I could get a fan. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's one way.
some serious rumbling going outside my window. Because with my headset on, I can't hear it properly. I can just hear like the like the base of it, the rumble, rather than the the main sound. Like if the, with the neighbors have the music on really loud, and I'm wearing a headset, I can't hear most of the music. All I can hear is like the rumbling. That's what I'm getting from the thunder as well. Like the lower tones, I guess. I keep trying to think if there's a way to like rearrange my room to get like better exposure for the AC. But there is it. I have optimal layout. But the AC that can still blow on me, I can see the door. I don't like having my back to the door. And my green screen doesn't block the fan. Sounds like you got it all set up perfect. I do, but it's boring. <laughs> I used to move my room around all the time, and it's like such a hassle now. It'd be a lot easier if I didn't have a big hole in my floor. But... really is quite gorgeous. Look, more sunflowers! But like, next to the road, not through my roof. Actually, I don't think that is... Oh, is there sunflowers? I can't tell. Seven ton. What? Did I put what on the bed? They call them lorries here. Oh, the leash? Yes.
<laughs> I was like, what did I? Oh yeah, no, that was, it, it, it took a bit there. Being a dog. He's being a dork. Being antsy, huh? Yeah, he just wants some attention. very firm direction on which way to go there. The big X's and the holes in the middle of the street being like, don't go that way. I won't. I didn't I didn't know what to classify that as you know like it's not a pair of pants it's not a top it's not a hat it's not really underwear and I didn't want to bother putting Big thunder. Wow, look at all these apartment buildings. starting in 30 seconds uh so time to stand up stretch get a drink a break have a kit kat or something That's right, you guys are going to be able to hear the thunder coming through the mic soon. I can feel it on the floor.
I made it. Yeah, level 64. I'm still not a divine champion there. I'm going to take the last minute of break and I will see you shortly. Sweetie. Yeah.
At least the temperature is falling down with that rain. I think Carter died. Definitely did. At least I don't have to do any repairs on my truck right now. That's unusual. to have we don't really need them like now but they are good to have uh later on once the water stops like one of the reasons i can't remember i think it's garbage bags is um is like a a recipe that uses a garbage bag that collects rainwater as well you can never have enough cooking pots. We tried, last time Toast and I played, we tried to have like a cooking pot on every vehicle so that when you're out exploring, you can just take an empty cooking pot with you and then you can, you know, cook up a meal wherever you are. Roasting pans are good too, but the cooking pots are just handy. I like I, I checked the houses to the south e southwest of us, but only I was only looking really for like electronics and stuff. I didn't go through and grab food or anything. Jeez, the thunder. Okay. It's the fancy pants. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do this, to be honest. Find a, a quickie, shall we? Recast steer. Potatoes. You. What is this? Oh God.
Potato. Potato. I don't know if I like this new lip stuff that I got. It's called a cushion, a Revlon Kiss cushion. And it's like a makeup sponge at the end. And the color gets pushed up through it, so it's soft, but it's, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I like it or not. I like the color, I like the way that it, the, the gloss feels, but I don't know if I like the spongy thing. I think trying to find a couple of like <clears throat> cheap, easy things for when I'm traveling. Oh, my mic did pick that one up. I just think the truck probably overrode the audio on that. 